Osteopathy. I like to say the osteopathy chose me. I ended up in massage therapy because I pulled it out of a hat and I ended up in osteopathy because I needed a change and I wasn't quite sure what that change was going to look like. I looked at lots of different career options. I looked at going to be a cook. I actually looked at grooming horses on a, on a professional level and um, my colleague just kept saying like you should check out this course and then doing the intro to osteopathy course with Brad as a continuing education credit for my massage therapy that was that was rather inspiring I thought it was kind of interesting and I just said like can I can someone do this field with sore hands sore arms from the deep tissue massage and he went yeah and I went okay and that was really all it took and I jumped in Oh, oh man, the teachers are so, there's such a variety in the teachers. You have teachers from every walk of life, you have teachers at different points in their life. Um, I'll never forget the day Tara, uh, Tara walked in and had a pair of leather boots on and we were like, oh this is different. Uh, there's such a wide variety of the teachers and their passion for this field, like it really means something to them that the students succeed. And that was really, really apparent in Winnipeg. Being the first class to come through that campus, being the first class to be in the province, uh, Brad was deeply invested in us, um, Daryl was deeply invested. I guys really shouldn't even name names. There were so many teachers who came multiple times to Winnipeg in January, although Daryl said he was never coming back to Winnipeg in January. But um, there were so many teachers that they really, their passion for the field really shone through. They were willing to stay after class and treat us because we had no student clinic, we had no one we could go get treatment from. So just their, their, their love for the field really did come through. And it was rather inspiring. Uh, our class was super close. Being a little bit in the, of a pioneer mindset as a class, we, uh, we knew we couldn't um, just email teachers for every single question we had, so we would send emails back and forth between all of us to the point where <laughs> uh, after our fifth year exams, we sent emails just to be like, hey, haven't heard from you, don't know what's going on. Uh, we often went for suppers together. When we were in the city together, we would often get together. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a classmate due to kidney failure just after our fifth year exams. And it was really powerful to see pretty much our entire class show up at her celebration of life, which was just shows how closely this community becomes. And it was incredible to be part of such a family coming through the student program.